Do you remember me? You don't, do you? No, I'm so sorry, I don't. You don't know Simon? Um, I'm getting out of here. Uh, you want to call me? How's that possible? You said that you were an author writing a book about teenagers. I don't remember who I am. Are you Alina Reynolds by any chance? Yes. I'm a big fan of your work. Or where I'm supposed to go. All of my memories begin with me walking among all these people. Let's just keep walking, OK? Really? Yeah. You think I'm special? Yeah, I think you're very obviously special. Why? Because you came with me. And nobody would. And this is a violation of social norms, but you don't care about anything. I was staying here last night. Whose name is on the reservation? I don't know that, actually. You seem legit. I want to help you. I just legally, I, I, I can't. I think it's all just beyond my grasp. And I feel like I'm just about to get there. And then it just. slips away. How Hello. are you doing? What's the, what's the publicity been like? Mostly a pleasant experience, I hope. For you guys? I think so, Simon. This is your Simon? first day doing doing publicity. How'd it go? It's cool. I yeah. I enjoy it. It's fun. I'm, yeah. You do you enjoy talking about the film? I thought it went very well. Do you enjoy Simon? Do you enjoy uh, talking about the film and about your character? Yeah. So great movie. I and agree I'm very with you. Proud of yeah but have you are, 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 is this like a new thing for you to kind of talk like to examine to be asked to examine your character um i mean i guess it's weird because it's it's me playing the role but in college like doing textual analysis is something we got to do all the time mm -hmm. yeah well uh how did you guys so you uh, if adam uh, you had been introduced to some variety show, New York. Splint so I was screen. working on a, yeah, I was working on this very goofy uh, variety, live variety show um, uh -huh. that we sort of did as a lark. Um, it was pretty absurdist. Uh, and uh, one of the people involved was uh, this young actor named, uh, young actor and director named Fred Heckinger. Mm -hmm. um and uh he's a really good friend of mine and he brought in a bunch of people that he knew uh to be uh in the part of the show and um basically that's how i met simon simon came and performed one night he had been doing open mics uh him and him and fred went to high school together he'd been doing open mics um around town and, and he came in and performed and he was really amazing and then a lot of the team from the movie um Maya Hawk did uh, did some work, uh, did a, a episode with us, and um, and then uh, some of the other cast, uh, Ray Lipstein and Sam Soger were involved in the show as well, and uh, Annabelle Hoffman, who plays Lucinda, the the young woman who sings the song, uh, was also a part of our, our sort of regular cast, and uh, and so yeah, it was so different <laughs> than Italian Studies, um, uh, but. Uh, but as I was developing the story of Italian studies with Vanessa, um, it felt like we had this really great group of teenagers and New York City characters that would really fit and be a part of the story. Right. A um, couple of things about this group of young actors, uh, or you know, or people uh, that 
you know, Simon is one, one of them, one of them. Um, <clears throat> and that is like, you know, you, 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 they're all, first of all, really dynamic. They're, they're, uh, um, seem to be, uh, not typical of what we see represented in a lot of movies, you know, I, I don't know. Do you, I guess this goes back, Simon, maybe you can answer this, but what do you think? Do you, do you see people like you and these other, you know, actors, um represented a lot in the movies these days do you feel like a lot of movies get it what it is to be that age or that you know what do you think um not not really i think a, a lot of these kids come from a kind of like lower east side uh east village subculture of new york which has not really been put on film yet mm -hmm. So I, I think this is like to show like these hip young teens that go to rock shows full of other young people is I haven't really seen a lot of films that do that. And for Adam to like mm -hmm. put that under a microscope is pretty interesting. I agree. Adam, do you, did you, what is it with working with young folks or just a young cast? And I don't mean to constantly emphasize that because you're also your main character in the film is actually, you know, an adult woman who, you know, happens to be experiencing amnesia walking around the streets of the city. Uh, she's an author from England. She's in New York City and just sort of seemingly arbitrarily loses her memory and then meets Simon and it kind of is her, Simon's kind of the white rabbit, right? The, the entree into this group of folks who are very creative and I think are really bright and, um, uh, uh, um, and, and, and just feels very connected to that group. And we kind of experience this in real time almost along with her. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually gonna disagree with you, Simon. Um, and so let's bring it. Um, I, I I don't oh. I don't think that um, that the kids that we sort of uh, welcomed into this project are like scene story. Um, we were very much like we don't want the like jaded skater kid, um, and we really wanted um, people who were open and curious and uh, and warm. That was a big big sort of uh, factor. And and can we can we create an environment where they're feel welcomed and, and and an open environment for for sort of them to be themselves and and for them to craft these characters um and so yeah I, I i loved that process of it um so much and we worked with the teenagers then teenagers they're in their early 20s right. now but um uh, for a few months, about three months before we shot, just really getting to know them, hanging out with them, put pairing them with different groups. Um, again, Simon and I had known from the from the variety show, um, right. but uh, we also had a great casting directors that came in and did uh, did some street casting, and uh, oh. brought in a bunch of other a bunch of other kids who were like go to Murrow, went to Murrow in like deep in Brooklyn in a public school and are not Lower East Side hipsters. Simon, what are you, what are you talking about? I hate those don't... fucking kids. I, hate those... Cause, I mean, immediately when, when they meet in this, you know, it was like a, a, the, 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 the hot dogs spot, right? The uh, um, Chelsea Papaya. Chelsea Papaya, how could I forget? Yes. Which is your neighborhood, right? Yes. Uh, uh, like I know, they really felt like here's a kid probably been through some stuff from the information we're gathering from your, you know, when you talk, but just the fact that you're exposing parts of your, you have very few filters, your character, and you're really open to this new friend, this woman you're meeting who most people wouldn't be that way. So you come across, you generate a lot of warmth in that performance. Do you, do you think, am I off base? Well, that that's you against the atoms when two at you know i agree people. yeah no yes <laughs> don't feel bullied into no. agreeing anyway simon wait what was what's the question oh just sort of uh, uh, we adam has expressed and i i kind of have to concur uh, specifically through your performance since you know you you stand out the most in my memory having seen the film over a month ago now but like as a as genuinely warm character Probably with a lot of baggage, you know, you make references. Yeah, Simon, to... I mean, like, I think we talked about this a bunch earlier today too. Like you, 
you are someone who goes up to people, strangers, and tries to connect with them. In real life. Uh, yeah, especially at the, the time this movie was shot, that is something that I did like all the time, was just go really? outside and be like, I'm gonna get into an adventure today. Let's see what random people I can meet and have fun things happen. Um, so I always try to be open to uh, new people and strangers. And there's, there's so many different adventures to get into in New York City. It's crazy. So I, I guess in some sense, like that, that could have been like a real life situation of me like getting into adventure with some right. random person. Uh, the you also also the uh, one, another thing that stands out is these the the interview. So she, I assume her it's her POV when right Adam when the kids are talking to somebody who's off camera. It feels almost documentary style this portion, but actually mm -hmm. they're talking to her right, and she's kind of just because she has lost her memory in a way, and she's starting from this, I don't know. Um, you know, blank slate in a way. She's just open to hearing people's these people's stories, right? And maybe trying to figure out something through there that will help her. Yeah, out her own yeah. identity. I don't know, but it's interesting because they're young and they're just sort of on the cusp of becoming adults with their own full set of experiences, and she's lost it completely. Yes, there's there was this idea that, that that we that there's this combination of like you know what came first the chicken or the egg where we were working with Fred and Simon and Annabelle and I wanted to make a project with them and we were developing this project and so it was like that's great and then there was also this idea of like well this thematically really makes sense that she somebody who's sort of searching for their identity would um you know it or it would not necessarily make sense but it's interesting for the story that that she would end up grabbing on to um uh specifically simon and then his kind of group of friends in the movie that um that are at that age where they're finding their identity themselves and trying mm -hmm. out different suits and, and things like that. And I think in some ways thinking about what it means to be an adult and seeing an adult that they don't, that, that you know, Simon feels it, 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 in the movie, this character, you know, is sort of really taken with the idea that she goes off with him and, and is so open and, and it is so receptive um, uh, to him. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh what was I going to ask about? Well, first of all, let's remind people it's called the name of the movie is called Italian Studies, and it's opening um, on uh, Friday, the fourteenth. Opening Friday the fourteenth, and every VOD platform and in theaters in New York and LA. Thank you. At the IFC. Did that time I was good. Did I do a good salesman? Job? Perfect. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What kind of conversations did you guys have about? your characters or was it did you not simon what did uh did adam and his his team if there maybe it's just i know it's this is a very stripped down film well Which, by the way was almost entirely shot in 2018 and 19 mostly right so it was shot yeah it was shot over a, a piecemeal um uh july 4th 2018 to, to like may in london we finished up in 2019. sorry you were interrupting well, well, me and Adam talked like just about life and like philosophy and stuff like that. And we like put concepts from those conversations into the script and some of the scripted scenes. Okay. Uh, and, so, and some of it was just improvised, just just on the fly, just kind of like two people bonding in real life, just put it on camera, you know. Does it, are you, were, were you, or are you a, like a film guy at all, Simon? Are you like into film? Are you into movies? Or? Yeah, I love movies. Just watch this, uh, this movie called Pajote. It's a Brazilian movie about this street kid that goes to a reformatory. Um, I, I love movies. I, lo I love um, foreign movies. Mm -hmm. Don't really like Hollywood movies. But yeah. Really? Fred's way more of a, a movie guy than I am. Who? Fred. Fred. You know. Oh, Fred. 
Yeah, sure. he's, he's blowing up. Fred, we may have seen him in the White Lotus. Uh, I know. I was, yeah, I did. I did. I said, how do I know what that kid, and then it took me like a couple of minutes to remember yeah, his yeah, performance. Yeah. His so he's a producer actually on this movie. Um, yeah, I noticed. And, uh, and really developed it with us. And was it was sort of with us throughout the entire process. And then um, while we were shooting, the reason I think he doesn't have a, a bigger part is because uh, while we were shooting, he got cast in Woman, Woman in the Window. And he like, says to me one day like i'm gonna go make this movie with amy adams and i was like what the fuck <laughs> so have you gotten the bug assignment are you gonna be pursuing acting uh i'll take anything that comes my way <laughs> I'll I, think that, I think if you are open to it things will come your way but you may have to go after some of those things but i think you know yeah you're a natural <laughs> You're an actor. Simon's an extremely strong actor, and yeah. um, and I think, frankly, you know, we've been hanging out today doing some interviews, and I think that you can be overly dismissive of that, and it's not true. It's really, it's not just Simon being himself. There's there's a real performance here, and um, and I think it's a well, I I know it's a special performance, and one of the things that um has been so consistent is when uh, other actors see this movie, they are just so taken with um, and fascinated by Simon and his performance. Um, I know the film had its world premiere at Toronto, am I right? Uh, Tribeca. Oh, I'm sorry, Tribeca. Okay. What, what does Toronto have to do with anything? Toronto's where Tramps was, my previous Oh, movie. that's where you, you premiered Tramps. Uh, right, okay. Uh, so Toronto's a good town. But Tribeca, uh, that's the anybody one. Anybody listening in Toronto, you know, it's New York ish. <laughs> you should watch Italian studies. Totally. Uh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, so it premiered at Tri the Tribeca. Is that the name of the festival? It premiered at the Tribeca Film is that, Festival. Is that is that in New York? That one. Is okay. It is. It is in fact right. in New York. It was. Uh, it was really beautiful. Actually, it was so special to have. Um, have this premiere was uh, in June and um, it was a big outdoor screening. Oh. Everybody sort of came out. It felt like everybody was vaxxed and um, and it really felt like uh, we partied afterwards. Tribeca threw us a party that was great. And uh, it felt really just like a beautiful, it was a lot of people's first night back mm -hmm. out. And it felt like this sort of beautiful oh, thing. Yeah. This thing was kind of behind us. And it, I have to say, it's been quite, um, for reasons a lot bigger than releasing a movie, but but having sort of what's been going on over the last month um, as this sort of bookend to like the from the premiere to the release is uh, is 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 tough. It's been it's been it's been strange and sort and pretty sad to like we we show this movie when this thing was done and now we have to deal with this again. I do have to do this pause thing. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'll be back. It's gonna be a four minute, a really a four minute. Hey, pause. Sorry. Oh. Okay. So what was that movie, Simon, you were mentioning? Again, repeat, what was the name of it again? It's called Pahote. Pahote? Oh, oh, it's uh, P-I-X-O-T-E. Oh, -E. oh, yeah, 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 sure. I, I don't know that I've seen that one, but I just watched a, 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 a Brazilian film the other day, too. It's a new one, which is oh. coming out. It's called The Pink Cloud. But... Um, they make some amazing films. I mean, you know, uh, uh, it's like there's so much incredible, you know, rich cinema out there in the world. I mean, I can't believe that even at, how old are you? Uh, 21. 21. I guess I was discovering international cinema around that age too, but like um, I went, my, I mean, my, my son was over this last weekend visiting and, and we went to see Spider-Man, which I, I, you know, just because We've seen them all, but I mostly spend my time watching films like um, Italian Studies. Um, had you uh, have you done any? Uh, had you been in a film before? Uh, I had like a really small role in this movie called Delenda a few years ago. Delenda? Yeah, I've, I've never actually seen it. Oh, really? Yeah. Did it get released at all? I don't know. I don't really know what, what happens to that movie. <laughs> you just sort of, did you get cast in it or was it through connections? Um, uh, this girl that I knew was like um, looking for nerdy white boy to be oh, okay. in a movie. And I was like, ooh, this Perfect. is. Perfect. 
Mm, I was rubbing my hands together. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. You're the poster child. The post child. Where do you live? Characters. Um, I live on the Lower West Side. Okay, so, over again. This is, this is like. Hey, sorry. Whew. Just getting acquainted. Where were we? I think it was just gonna... career shit, Becca. It was uh, fun. I... Right, 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 right. Uh, was that so? And that was spe- so. You guys had some opportunity, at least one, to do a Q and A or talk yeah, to the we, audiences. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That Q and A was was uh, was something though for me, Simon. Man, I was couldn't hear. Remember, I couldn't hear any of the thing. Yeah. Anyway, it was because it was outdoors and they hadn't figured. It was out outdoors and they didn't have monitors, and so monitors you see darkness right I can't I couldn't hear anything it's insane and afterwards I'm sorry you ran up the stairs or something yeah 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 i'm trying to <laughs> got you i appreciate you i feel bad way. that i had to come on that wasn't I'm, I'm trying to be a professional uh so again okay uh italian studies opens again on friday the 14th of january it's the star is simon rickner and vanessa Kirk. and um <laughs> And and others, Fred Heck, what was Fred it? Heckinger? Heckinger, I'm always Brian Hawk, him. who's incredible, you know, from just a wonderful, rich film, Adam, and it's a real oh, thank you. Nice to see New York City shot again by you. You, you obviously, even though you don't self-identify as a New York filmmaker, <laughs> it's something you do. Let's put it yeah, in your yeah. toolkit. You know how to shoot New York City. So, well, Vanessa, it was really came from Vanessa. She really, okay. she was a fan of. Uh, my previous the previous two movies that I directed and she was like throw me out into the I wanted you to throw me out into the streets in New York and and have me let's get messy right and interact with with the city in real time yeah I don't know I think I gave short shrift to her role and like it's <laughs> this film kind of in every scene of the movie she she's is. in all of it and it revolves <laughs> around her yeah. and this journey that she's on yeah that she doesn't even really recognize. We know she's on a journey. She doesn't know, but, but yeah, she is incredible, incredible um, uh, leap of faith for her too, because her process right. is so um, is so uh, usually about uh, research in terms of right. knowing the character well, and and biographies, and it, knowing every single thing about Princess Margaret. You know, talking to scientists before being like a scientist in the Fast and the Furious movie, like all that stuff. And so for her, it was nobody's uh, ever heard of those projects though and um so why even bother the crown yeah. is that where you're referring to and then, no and i think for her it was uh i think it was exciting but also i mean i, I just admire it so much because because she, she was like you can't i don't know about me and and so finding that balance of how much vanessa knew about her character uh, right. especially before the, it's bookended by a by an incident that takes place in london a year later for that section, it was a different thing, but you know, she was like so involved in, in the wardrobe for the London section, but for the New York section, she was saying, you know, I don't know why I would, ha- I, I have to be surprised I'm wearing these clothes. You pick the clothes, which no one should say to me, let alone Vanessa Kirby, <laughs> but we did a good job, I think, with that. Um, well, you should do her wardrobe for the next Mission Impossible movie. Yeah. I think that would make a lot of sense. Anyway, just think about it. Um, Adam, so glad to finally do this with you. Um, it's Thank been you. a long time coming and uh, been following you since giving yes, me the loop. Yes, it's been really and, supportive. Uh, thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, and thank you guys. And uh, we'll Simon, run the trailer. Little, little Simon, what was going on? Real gl- glad to have Simon on too. You okay? Uh, yeah, there's some, some drama at the house. Stupid. Okay. Stupid. Right. Sorry if it, it, it became uh, challenging to do this, but I'm glad to have met you. I think I've got Simon. No, I like it. I like it. I like it like an honest mess, which is a little bit what uh, me and Simon's participation in this felt like. You you didn't. You you were Adam was phenomenal. Well, you guys, I've just taken off a month for which I've never done since I started this thing. And I just like, I needed a break for a little while and you guys are my return. And I appreciate oh. that this was, well, my, thank you, you know, entree back into doing this. So 
I'm going to recommend people go see Italian Studies. I agree with that recommendation. It's tripped out, man. You, you endorse you have, that. You have, you have an experience. All right. And it's 78 minutes. So if you don't like it, it's only 78 exactly. minutes. That you it, I, mean, I was just telling Simon, I took my kid to see Spider-Man. Around here, there's just not a lot of options. Yeah. And um, we, enjoy, we enjoy it, but it's like two hours and 15 minutes. It, no, no, no. It doesn't no. need to be done. This movie of- has better, is more New York than Spider-Man, has better superheroes than Spider-Man. <laughs> yes, it does. Says Simon Brickner, who's basically a real life Spider-Man, and it's half the month. But costs just, just as much. <laughs> That's right. Uh, thank you. <laughs> good night, guys. I'll let you All right, know thanks. Good night. Take care. Nice meeting you, Simon. Nice meeting you.